today more caching because I'm waiting for traffic. Um, I haven't told you guys this yet, but after Thanksgiving, I'm gonna be taking a road trip. Uh, first, we're going to Reading. Well, I'm going to Reading to meet Jimmy. And then from there, we're gonna go up to uh, Oregon again. Oregon again. And then, uh, but last time we went, we only went into Ashland. And uh, if you look at the maps, Ashland isn't that far into Oregon. It's pretty much the first city you get to. So, we're gonna go a little bit further than that. We're actually gonna go all the way through Oregon into Washington, all the way to uh, Seattle. So we're going to Seattle. Um, we're gonna find geocaching headquarters, maybe some other touristy things, but um, I don't know, we'll see. I'm planning to find tons of caches on the way. And uh, Jimmy's ahead of me by about, well it was about 40, but now it's about 20 he's ahead of me. So I'm just spending these couple days before we go finding a bunch so that I can catch up to him so we're in sync so we can synchronize our 1,000 find. That'll be cool. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So yesterday's video didn't go up because it was only that clip that you just saw today. Um, yeah, I'm just putting yesterday's clip on today's video. But anyway, I'm still out trying to find more caches to catch up to Jimmy. And uh, it's taken me to this area. I'm on top of a hill and you, know, you can see, you can look out over the city. And uh, my truck is parked somewhere down in those houses. It took kind of a while to walk up here. This one hasn't been found in over a year and a half. Um, oh wait, is that it? Looks like this is the container. Hey, cool. There it is. I don't know how it got way over here. But yeah, it looks like it got stepped on by cows. I actually called the guy. And, uh, told him that I found the top. So. Cool. Found the actual container. And it's supposed to be over here. And there's a book that goes in it. And then the top. And originally it was placed kind of there with these rocks around it like there however you know just kind of like that but I guess cows kicked it and destroyed it so anyway he said he's gonna move it so I'll take it down with me anyway now it's time to hike back all the way over to those houses through this have you this plant is so annoying. Star thistle. These little spikes are very stiff and very sharp. And you just walk into it like this, and your legs are all prickly and hurt. But anyway, time to walk back. Okay, it's a little bit later. I found maybe eight or nine. I don't remember. But anyway, this one is uh, too clever to not show you how it's hidden. So I'm not going to tell you where it is or what the name of it is or anything like that. I'm just going to show you how they hit it, and you can use this idea if you want, or just be uh, impressed by the cleverness of people who hide these things. So anyway, this is the ground zero. There's a fence. There's holes in the wood, but it's not in there. I noticed on this sign, there's some bolts that are necessary to hold the sign up, right? But then, why is there a bolt there? And why is there a bolt down there? And I looked back behind and I saw this. 
that. And there's a washer on that side. There's not a washer on that one, so I was confused. Why are those extra bolts there? And, uh, they're not there by accident, they were placed there by somebody. And then, I looked inside the holes. You see that little string? There's a fishing line. It goes all the way down. And look in there. There's a bison tube. A little tiny metal container in there. Inside of this metal pipe. I'm wondering how do you get it out? So, I like to hear, I was like, well, do you like maybe you twist this bolt to crank it so it comes up? But, but no, this is too tight, you can't get that off by hand. So I tried to loosen this one. Aha, it's loose. So I took the bolt out of here, because it's not connected to this at all. You can see right through that the string goes right by it. Oops, dropped the bolt. Don't want to lose that. Uh oh. There it is. So, anyway, so I pulled this bolt out. I'm like, okay. I've got a bolt, now what? And I was looking around and I noticed. Hmm, that hole is bigger than the others. So, what I tried to do, it's going to be hard to film it. Okay, I got it. So anyway, what I did was I pushed the string through with the bolt and then and once you get it through, you can pull the string and you get the container out of the hole. And the log book is inside of here. So you got the string going up and hooked up to that bolt. So to put it away, you just do a reverse. Put it in the tube. Let it go down and put the bolt back. So, very clever, very good hide. Funny story just happened to me and I was upset because I couldn't find something. Not a cache, my pen. I have this red pen that uses gel ink and it's, it's nice. But anyway, here's the area. Remember where this one was? That one I showed you? Well, anyway, um, I did that one. Signed it with my red pen, nothing was missing at that point. Um, I went down this road to the next one, and I was like, where's my pen? Couldn't find it, it wasn't in my pocket, or in between the seat where I normally put it. Uh, so I was like, okay, whatever. So I went to the cache, and there was a pen in it, luckily. I mean, I have others, so I just didn't bring them for some reason. <laughs> And then I was like, oh yeah, I need a pen. So there was one in the cache, so I just signed it with that. And then I came back this way. Um, and I found another cache that's actually right up here. So I'm actually coming back the second time. But, um, but yeah, I found this one. And then I was like, okay, I want to go find my pen. So I looked in the truck and I couldn't find it. And then I remembered the last place I had it was at that cache up there. So I went back up to that cache and I looked around there and didn't find it. So I thought maybe it fell out of my pocket uh, at the far one, the second one I did after that. And so I drove all the way that way. And I looked around there, it wasn't there, I didn't see it anywhere. So now I'm on my way back the second time because so I drove out there to get them and then I came back to get this cache and then I went back to go find my pen and now I'm coming back again but the whole time do you know where it was? Let me show you. It was in there. See it just popping over the edge? Yeah. I put it in the hand holder on the other side. I have no idea why I put it there but that's where it was. Oh well. I found 10 caches. Time to go home.